what are we chatting about this time? Well, first, an apology. Then, a new consideration of God telling us not to judge. And third and finally, well, a very interesting thought that I stumbled across along the way. One that I'd dearly love to hear your thoughts about. Here we go. So, let me begin with the apology. I do owe an apology to Stan J.Z., the person who initially suggested this particular topic to begin with. See, a couple of episodes ago, we did indeed explore this topic. And yet, in doing so, I got so caught up in the information, in putting things together, well, I neglected to do what the very stated purpose of this podcast is. Which is to look at things through the lens of what it means to be a Christian. And for that, sir, I do apologize. And in this episode, we are going to kick this topic around while viewing it through the lens of what it means to be a Christian, which is a following of Jesus, the Christ, that involves a relationship leading to studentship from Him, right? Leading to a life lived for Him based on everything that He teaches. And yes, as always, each and every piece of scripture that I reference will be listed in the description area for you to check out. Now, I may not point them out as we're going through. Don't want to interrupt the flow of the talk, but they will be down below. Okay. So, looking at this through the lens of a relationship. <sighs> well, as I thought about this, the very first question that came to me was, what exactly does Jesus want for all of us? And I found a very interesting answer in John chapter 17. Now, this is where Jesus prays. He's praying to the Father that we may all be one, even as he and the Father are one. And he prays that God's love will be in us and that Jesus, Jesus himself will be in us. Well. What do you think the reason for that may be? Oh, now you may be thinking, well, isn't that so that we would love him? Well, yes. Yes, indeed. But there is more to it than that. See, he says, this is so the world may know and believe that the Father did indeed send Jesus and that the Father loves them even as he loves Jesus. Okay, so, well, hang on. Mm. What was life like before coffee? <laughs> Wouldn't want to know. Anyway, using this lens to look at not judging others, I had another question arise. See, when we choose to be all judgmental of each other, are we promoting that unity? Or are we working directly against it? What a simple and yet very profound question that is. Does being judgmental you know, and condemning of others aid in creating and establishing the unity that he seeks? Well, if it doesn't, and, you know, since Jesus said, this is the way the world will know the Father, well, that the Father did send him, rather, and that the Father does love them, then, well, are we not actively working against other people coming to know Jesus? If we get judgmental? No wonder he tells us not to do this, right? Well, you know, there are so many different ways this conversation could now go. So many things that we could include. Well, for instance, 
the golden rule. You remember that, right? Do unto other people as you want them to do to you? I mean, you don't want people to be all judgmental and condemning of you, right? You know, to be disrespectful of you, thinking less of you than you truly are? Well, then, it would be very hypocritical of you to do so to others, would it not? You know, and, 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 and then there is the whole love your neighbor as you love yourself command. See, if you're not treating other people as you would be treated, you are not loving them as you do yourself, are you? I mean, well, we could include a discussion that if we act this way, you know, not loving other people, well, the Bible does say that we are still in darkness. We are not loving God. Well, we could include a lot of things, but... That would make for a very long chat indeed, and my coffee cup is just much too small for that length of a chat. So, having said that, let's turn our attention to that thought I stumbled across. You know, the one I mentioned earlier. The one I want your opinion about. And mind, this is just a thought. And I am merely mentioning it in the spirit of friends sitting at the kitchen table over coffee. You know, friends who have engaged their studentship put on their thinking caps and are pondering and considering and, oh, how did Paul say this? To weigh carefully everything that is said. Okay. Thinking cap on? Let's do this. Now, see, this thought came from my reading Matthew chapter 7, verse 6. Now, this is the verse about not giving to the dogs what is sacred and not throwing your pearls to the pigs. For the pigs, they may trample those pearls underfoot, and the dogs may well turn and tear you to pieces. Now, the reason this is interesting to me is it comes immediately after the passage about not judging another person and that one about taking the plank out of your own eye before turning your attention to the speck in your neighbor's eye. Now, see, to be honest with you, for a very long time, I have found this verse, you know, verse 6, to be just a little confusing. I mean, it seems rather random here, not really tied into anything else. And not only does it seem random, but it also seems just a wee bit contradictory. I mean, here, immediately after telling us not to be all judgmental, it seems as if we're being told to be all judgmental, right? I mean, calling people dogs and swine does seem to be a direct judgment about those people. Now, Yes, most of all the commentaries I have read about this verse understand this verse to mean having discernment about the mindset of other people, you know, and then using wisdom concerning when and when not to share doctrines, gospels, the gospel rather, and, you know, other holy thoughts, you know, to not share them with people who will simply reject them. And frequently, frequently cited examples include people who are either drunk or even violently opposed to the gospel. And please understand, I am not saying that this is wrong. I'm not contradicting this. But what I'm saying is that based on everything we've talked about, you know, in this and the previous chat, the one I'm making up for, this understanding just doesn't seem to fit. I mean... If I'm picking up all the lessons that Jesus has been putting down about loving our neighbor, being non-judgmental, well then, who am I to even make the assessment that a person is going to reject the gospel message? I mean, 
I cannot judge who will and who will not accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. For truly, honestly, how can we know that the Holy Spirit hasn't been working in their life in such a way as to make our sharing of the gospel message the exact thing that this person needs and maybe even truly wants? Or maybe you're sharing? Let me say it this way. Maybe you are the one who is planting the seeds that they need. Hmm. One second. More coffee. Huh. Oh, much better. Okay. Let me try that again. Maybe you're the one who is sowing the seeds that another person will need to water in order for them to sprout, causing that very same person now, the one you've just sown the seeds to, to be open to yet another person sharing things with them. God only knows if this is the stage of the process that the other person is in. And yes, all of this does go well beyond the topic at hand. But I mention it because it all contributes to my not being satisfied with the understanding of this verse that we just talked about, about using discernment. And again, I'm not saying it's wrong. Don't try to argue this point with me. I'll give. I'm just saying that it seems that there must be something else in play. That's all I'm asking us to consider. So, are you ready for the thought? Well, what if, what if Jesus is saying to us that when we are being judgmental and all condemning, we are at that moment throwing what is holy, the gospel message, to the dogs and throwing the pearls you know, God's love, before the feet of the pigs to be trampled on. See, the dogs and the swine here are not referring to people at all. Rather, this is a statement about how being judgmental is showing egregious disrespect and disregard for God and His love. And He is letting us know here that this will not turn out for us very well. It will not end well. See, I find this makes sense in the context of the whole passage of Matthew chapter 7, 1 through 6, you know, as well as all of the others we've mentioned so far. I mean, it doesn't contradict any passage that I have found. And if you know of a passage that it does contradict, please let me know, for I truly don't want to have any misunderstandings, wrong ideas, or wrong thoughts about this. But it is well worth the consideration. Okay, then. Well, there you go. There you have it, and there it is. A chat about God telling us not to judge while looking at it through the lens of what it means to be a Christian. And Stan Jay-Z, I hope this has been more in line with what you are asking for. Okay, well, as always, let me know what you think in the description area. And please do me the honor of telling me why you think as you do. You know, whether you agree, disagree, or are simply uncertain either way. Because I love a good conversation. And in a good conversation, we can both learn so very much. And, you know, that is the goal of our kicking things around here, as we do, you know, to help us grow. Well, until next time, take it easy, take it slow, and may coffee into your cup always flow.